Welcome everybody, I'm your host, Evangelist Dan Goodwin. This is the God's Found Jubilee program. We're coming live, well not live, but we're, we're taping this in Elizabethton, Tennessee. The same, uh, same town that I uh, did my DVD series, the um, uh, Prophecy Un Unsealed. We got a, uh, DV a DVD set that I've done, and we did them right here. And my guest with me is uh, brother, brother Phil Hauser, and uh, he's a pastor, assistant pastor here with his dad, uh, fine church here. And uh, we love Brother Phil, and Brother Phil, God bless you. God bless you. And we Glad had him on. Here. We had him on again uh, concerning some textbooks that are in the in the school. If you didn't see that one, go back to the YouTube channel and, and go back one. And you need to hear that. You need to hear about the textbooks that are in the public school that are teaching your children how wonderful Islam is, and uh, it's the truth. So. Uh, you need to go check that out and uh, find out what your kids are, are learning at the schoolhouse. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's hard enough to keep up with what's going on at the church house, some of our <laughs> churches. Uh, but the schoolhouse, that's another thing. So, now, Brother Phil, you're, you're a preacher, and your dad's a preacher, and yeah. uh, uh, you, uh, you have done a Revelation series. In fact, you're doing yeah. another one. Yeah. The one you're doing now is a little more in depth, I think. It is. It is. And it's twice or three times as long. Okay, but you did one, and I have them on my website. Yeah, that's that's a good one because you can mail it, and it won't cost you fifty dollars for shipping on, the, <laughs> on that yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> we have a set of uh, a CDs. I don't yeah. know how many there are, but it's a stack. Can you can you see it's a stack? I don't know, a little <laughs> stack like that. But uh, it's on the website. And uh, by the way, I I trust this man right here. And uh, what he teaches, and, I, and I've listened to his, his uh, not DVD, CDs, I've listened to his, uh, his talks on the book of Revelation, and I got the feeling he'd read my Revelation study guide. <laughs> but uh, no, he's, uh, he's, he's well learned, he's, pretty, he's very, very good on the book of Revelation. We're going to talk a little bit about Revelation, and uh, so if you'd like to uh, take a look at those, go to my website, godsfinaljubilee.com. And uh, somewhere in the book section, just scroll down, you'll find uh, Revelation series by Phil Hauser. I think that's what it's called. But you'll, you'll find them anyway. And um, you, can, you can get those. We'll mail them right out to you. So there are CDs. They're audio. You listen to them on your CD player. They're not, and it's, not, it's not video. It's, it's audio. So, uh, which I think sometimes is better because you can listen to them in your car that's while exactly you're driving. Right. It's hard to watch videos while you're driving. I've got a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, how long have you been uh, interested in prophecy and, and things? I've studied Revelation for almost three years. But when I did the first, the first set, I studied at least an hour a night for exactly a year before I did those CDs. Okay. So, well, good. And uh, they they came out. They're pretty good. They were recorded right there at his church. And uh, I've got hold of them. I've got yep. several of them at home. Nothing fancy. They're not in a fancy case or anything. But there's not a fancy price tag That's right. on them either. Price to price to move. Yep. If you just want to. If you just want to learn the Book of Revelation. Um, uh, now it's not a verse by verse, right? It's kind of a. I, I go through it verse by verse, but I don't explain. You don't explain every everything, verse. of course. Yeah. You know how, would how be yeah, you'd be you'd be you'd be weeks and weeks and weeks yeah. listening to it. Yeah. So, all right. Speaking of Revelation, let me read a, a verse or two here in uh, Revelation chapter one, verse one: the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Amen. And uh, verse 3, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, talking about Revelation. That's right. And so there's a blessing there to him that reads, hears, and keeps those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. There's a curse at the end of it. There, yeah. The opposite of that. Yeah. Yeah, at the back of the book. That's exactly yep. right. There's All a blessing right. or a curse. So tell us a little bit about your your understanding of Revelation, the author, the human author, obviously. Of course, is John. John, John the beloved. He was the only one that actually lived to a ripe old age. But if you look back, he was the one that did not forsake Christ. He was at the foot of the he cross. He was at the cross. That's with the one Mary. that says, "John, behold your mother." That's the only thing Jesus owned in this world was his mother. He gave his mother. To right, John. and that, that's a beautiful oh, wow. Mother's Day sermon right that's there. Right. That's right. John, behold thy mother. Mother, behold thy son. And he, the disciple, he, Jesus. He took Lord. care of his mother at that's his right. death. That's right. Boy, there's some lessons there. It's not Mother's Day, or we get going on that. <laughs> but uh, 
Um, but boy, there's so much here. I mean, just yeah. we didn't even plan that, but look what yeah. we just gleaned just by looking who the author is. That's right. The human author. By the way, he's uh, he's sitting in a palace with uh, yeah. with nice clothes on Getting and fed servants, grapes. right? <laughs> he's in the Isle of Patmos. He's on an island being persecuted. Of the world, right. you know, being beaten and tortured. Yeah. Probably chained to somebody else that hasn't been bathed. And he's in the spirit on the Lord's day. That's exactly right. He's praying. He's, and God he's speaks taking, to him. He's taking time out of his slavery-induced captivity and having church. Okay, so we got things which are, are come, uh, things that are, uh, uh, were, and things that are to come. So this is a book it's of its the outline. now and the future, yeah, right? It's, got, it's the only book that has its own outline. You yep. just said it. It's, and God gave you the outline of the book. Yep, just the outline's to right there. Just a little bit. Yep, things which must surely come to pass. Yes, and, the, and then over here, uh, the outline's over here somewhere else here, but uh, I forget where it is here. Oh, here it is. Uh, John to the seven churches which are in Asia, verse 4. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. That's not the outline. Um, where is you, that? You read it right before that. Oh, verse 1. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel, his servant John. Okay, so we've got the book of Revelation here written, you know, we don't know for sure, but they say 96 AD or something like that that John wrote this. We know it was shortly after Christ because John was one of his alive. disciples, yeah. and he's still alive. Yeah. Um, so probably 90-something A.D. he writes this. And uh, that's not the end of John's life either, either is it, though? No. He does not die there. That's right. And, uh, but he's given the, this, this stuff, this future things here. Now, chapter 2 and 3. Tell us about chapter 2 and 3. That, to me, is the church from when it's beginning to it, and that's an outline of the entire church age, 2,000 years. Any problem that you can have in your church, you can look and find it. Well, the that's seven the truth. The it seven is. churches, that there's is something the in them, either good or bad, that, exactly that relates right. to your church. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Of course, it starts with the, the church of Ephesus, yeah. which I believe is a... Lost a, your first love. Yeah, and that's a type of the first age of the church yeah. after Christ uh, dies on the cross, the, the, the church of, the, of Ephesus. Goes all the way to the Laodiceans, the that's, Church of that's Laodiceans, and that's, like that's us that's today. Us. I really do. Yeah, yeah. And a lot uh, of churches have lost their power, and it's just not relevant anymore. And okay. that's, that's the lukewarm. All right, church. so that's the that's the that's the the was there and the is and all that, and uh, now we that brings us to the future. You turn the page, Revelation four. Chapter one. four. <laughs> There's two parts in Revelation that are that are. Like, like you said, there's a blessing and there's a curse. This is chapter 4. There's a door open in heaven. At the end of it, chapter 19, Behold, I saw heaven opened, yep. Christ coming down. Heaven is open at the first and the last. One for the rapture to take us, and one to let us back. Let us back in come for the second coming. White Horse. That's exactly right. That's uh, beautiful. Your, your pre-trib. Oh, that's that's what the Bible and, teaches, bro. Right. That's, yeah. And uh, so everything you hear, if if you get his CDs, is going to be right down the line pre-trip. I've I've looked at all the rest of them. I've 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 got books and actually talked to people, and they're like, well, you know, it, it, it's in the middle. You know, you no, know, it's towards the end. You know, right right before God's wrath at the end. Yeah. Or, or, well, no. Uh, uh, if you look after the seals, at chapter six, at the end of it, it says, hide us. For the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah. It's all God's wrath. Yeah. The whole tribulation is the wrath of God. We're not appointed under wrath. Yeah. And it's also 70th, the 70th week of Daniel, which right. is Old Testament. Testament. And you're exactly and, right. Uh, so, all right. So, chapter 4 is the rapture. Yes, sir. Chapter 5, one of my favorite places <laughs> that I talk about. But I'm, let me give you... Uh, the limelight there. Tell us a little bit about chapter 5 of Revelation. Well, we can't go over the whole book. I realize that. Sure, but. sure. Chapter 5 is that seven-sealed scroll. I don't know if you, you agree with this or not, but if you look in Genesis 3, they started handing down the curses. You know that story, of course. Eve got two curses. One on her job. There'll be pain and childbirth. Pain and childbirth, yeah. And two, he was correcting the problem. You will be under your husband. Because mm -hmm. she was supposed to, she was wanting to be like right, God. Right. So that's her two curses. Adam, by the sweat of your brow, thorns and thistles, right? Yeah. That's his job, just like Eve. His job got cursed. For dust you were, and dust you shall return, right? Yep. Death. That's two people, two curses each, four curses. 
Satan, you will crawl on your belly and you eat dust. That's one of his curses. Yep. Amity between you and the woman's seed. Mm -hmm. so that's, and the third curse is he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. Jesus Christ yep. is his curse. So we got, woman's got two, man's got two, Satan's got three. That's seven that's curses. Seven. And Adam lost dominion, or what you call the deed, right. to the earth. At the very end of the, end of the book, there is the deed with seven seals on it. Right. Isn't the seven seals something? grow in heaven exactly in the right hand of him that sitteth on the that throne. That is God the Father. And Jesus is going to go up to the throne, take them. We're skipping a lot of it. That's right. He doesn't go up there and beg. He, no, he goes up there and takes, takes it. Takes the scroll he takes it because and he's begins worthy. opening it. So who That's is exactly it that orchestrates right. the tribulation? That is here? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because all judgment he has given to the yep. Son, the yep. Bible says. Because if, if I went in into a store and bought something and it was stolen, I would have to go to the police and tell them it was mine. Yep. It was, I'd have to go in front of the judge. That's mine. That's Christ. Yep. He's so, in front of the judge. So he's going to take back, because exactly the Bible right. says in Psalms, the Bible says the earth is the Lord's the and the fullness thereof. thereof. So exactly that means right. the earth originally belonged to God. Amen. God gave, because it says in yes. Genesis, he gave dominion to over all things. Yeah. Adam got dominion over the world. That's why he got to name all the animals. That's exactly right. That's why a giraffe is called a giraffe. <laughs> and uh, he got to name uh, all, you know, all the flowers and all this stuff. Maybe yeah. he gave Eve that job. I don't know. But uh, um, that was before women's lips started, so he probably <laughs> could do that. But um, I joke about Eve. I said, uh, you know, when, when Adam went out to go to work, she would hand him his lunch, and she would tell him, uh, now don't you be flirting with the, any of them other women out there. <laughs> yeah. And he'd say, yes, dear. And, of course, there were no other women. She was it. But, you know, women are going to be women. And, uh, but anyway, we'll get in trouble here. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> so anyway, the uh, dominion was given to the man. That's right. And then man, when he sinned, gave up That's dominion. Right. And Satan is now, what, the god, the god of, of this, this world. world. So, yes, sir. The, orig the original owner of the earth, and this gets back to my teachings on the Jubilee and what the purpose of the Jubilee, all property going back to the That's original exactly owner. Right. That's why I believe Christ comes back on the white horse on, the ju on a Jubilee, on the Day of Atonement, the ju a Jubilee with the title deed in his hand and takes back possession of the planet. He has redeemed it and snatched it back from Satan. All right, so that's chapter 5, just in a nutshell there. Now, everything changes in Revelation 6. Yeah, Revelation 1 is yeah. an introduction, some wonderful <clears throat> things. 2 and 3 is the church age. Yeah. Chapter 4 is the rapture. Chapter 5 is the, 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 the title deed, and yeah. we're seeing things going on in heaven. Right. But everything starts to change for the bad in Revelation 6. Tell us a little bit about that. That reminds me of Genesis 1 and 2. Everything changes in chapter yeah. 3. Yeah, chapter 3. There is no changes. Satan in Genesis 1 and 2, the first two chapters. There is no Satan in the last two chapters of Revelation. Hey, that's interesting. That is the Bible, brother. Yeah. Chapter 6 is where he starts settling the score. This is judgment. So the, the time of grace is gone. The, the rapture will take the Holy Spirit, and his judgment will come. And that's when he starts breaking the seals. Of course, the first writer, uh, I've had videos I've showed at church and asked people, what's wrong with this video? Because it'll show the first seal broken. It'll show Christ riding on a white horse. And yeah, flowers. because Revelation 6 talks about a, a rider on a white horse. And everybody <laughs> thinks, oh, that's Jesus. Yeah. He sure travels in some bad company, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. See, what it is, it's the, it's, the, it's the fake Jesus. That's exactly right. Christ is up top orchestrating. That's right. He, he just is, opened the seal. That's exactly Down right. Down on the earth, when he opens the seal, he says, come that's and right. see. And a white horse and, and someone sitting yeah. on with a bow and no arrows. That's right. And if a crown was, is placed on exact, his head. Singular. At the end, it says he has many. Yeah, Jesus crowns. has many crowns. Has many yeah. crowns because your mind is at his feet. Right. So this is definitely Antichrist. So, so Revelation 6, everything changes. Yeah. Now it comes back to the earth. Yes. See, we start on the earth. Then we go to heaven in the rapture yes. and we spend a little time up there seeing the throne. The and church the is not mentioned elders. after four. There's, there's right. full of churches, full of church. There is no church yep. until... You see the saints in heaven. That's exactly right. Yeah, and that's where we're until at. Until we come back. And then chapter 6, he comes back to the earth again and shows us what's going to happen after Revelation 4, what I believe, Revelation 4, 1, 
Uh, behold, the doors open in heaven. I yeah. heard, as it were, a voice as Wild it was trumpets. a trumpet saying, that's come right. up come hither. Up hither. <laughs> that's what he told the, the two dead witnesses. Yeah. Come up come hither. hither. That's the, that's now, the people words. can argue with that. The post-trib crowd, the mid-trib crowd, the pre-wrath crowd, they can argue all they want. I'm telling yeah. you, Revelation 4, 1 is the rapture. Well, no he, doubt about well he's it. in heaven. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. John's on the Isle of Patmos. Come up hither, John. And Immediately. Goes, at least in his mind, he I goes was in the heaven. Spirit. I was in the Spirit. He was in heaven. Yeah. So, chapter 6 begins the opening of the yes. seals. Yes. The Antichrist comes on the scene on the white yes. horse. You got, of course, I call, in my Revelation study, God, I call it the, the, the four horsemen. Yes, exactly. And now there's seven seals, but there's four horsemen that yes. ride in the first four seals. Now, not all of those are people. I explain, uh, uh, you got to remember, the, they're not necessarily all. The first one's a person. And then you got the red horse and the yeah. the, the, the pale black horse, horse and the black. I yeah. can't remember the order from, but uh, yeah. um, you know, famine and bloodshed and war I'll and tell all this you, stuff. If you really look at it, the the last one, the green horse, Chloros, the green horse says, "And behold, a pale horse. He has somebody come with him. Death followed with death him. Death followed with him because it is death of the flesh." And death of the spirit, and nobody's saved in the first three and a half years. So hell is collecting the souls. Yeah, he has hell, Very sad. hell followed with him. I talked about that at your church tonight. Yes. I spoke yes. at his church that's, here that's, tonight, that's and right. talked about the fact of I believe, and I guess you yes. agree with me that there's nobody saved on the earth for the first half of the tribulation. That's exactly that's right. sobering. That's uh, the strong delusion has come down, and it's traded. For the Spirit. Right. What a terrible trade. The Holy Spirit's earth. gone, that's and exactly another Spirit right. shows up. By the way, I, yeah. I believe, and I think you agree with me, that strong delusion that comes, we read about that in Thessalonians. Yeah. He shall give them strong delusion. I believe that strong delusion has already begun yes. to some degree. Yes. I mean, I'm seeing it in God's people. God's people are getting wackier all yeah. the time. I, I see it in evolutionists. I, I, I'll talk with evolutionists, and it'll finally come where they get aggravated, and I'll say, you know, I think you do come from a fish. Because you have a scale over each eye, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's that's what it comes down All to. Right. They don't want to see. We got five, ten more minutes. Sure. Uh, that, we've gone through to chapter six here yeah. just briefly. Yeah. Um, of course, there's parenthetical chapters that are, that are stuck in there that just explain things. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some other chapters, some other things that, that I like. I like the halfway point. If you go to chapter twelve, of course, that's a six thousand year history that's just stuck in there. You know yeah. that. And uh, if you count the verses of Revelation, there's 404 verses total. If you divide 404, which is, of course, 202, if you look that up, that is there's a war in heaven. Is that right? right? That's exactly the little tiny story that's halfway through. It'll tell you there is no longer a place in heaven found for Satan. He is cast to the earth. And behold, his great wrath, because course, his time is short. Revelation 9, I saw a star fall from heaven. That's yep. Satan. That's right yep. there at the middle. Yep. I and, believe uh, the exact halfway point. That's why the Antichrist is okay. Worship me, because that's the exact second the Antichrist is indwelled. So this verse Satan you're talking himself. about, this, uh, you're saying it's, it's halfway through. There's, 20, there's 22 chapters. You're saying that... Mathematically, Some, 12, I think it's 12, 8, 9, and 10 is that little story right, right in there. Okay, That's so Revelation 12 something is the middle verse, is what you're saying. Of the verse, two. And that's the one, uh, there's yeah. a war. Yeah, there's a war in heaven. Okay. Michael fought and uh, that's Satan fought back. Okay, yeah. and, and of course we know that that actually takes place in the middle of the tribulation yeah, where the middle. Lucifer loses. Yeah. I don't know if some of you, the viewers may not understand this. Satan still has access to heaven, yes. still has access to, to God. Yes. We see that in the book of Job. Yes. Uh, you know, when the sons of God came and Satan came also among them, Job chapter 1. Remember God started talking to Satan, what are you doing here? To and fro, man. Yeah, I've been, I've been walking around <laughs> down on the earth, walking yeah. to and fro, checking out your people, God, and uh, you know what? They ain't doing so well down there. That's why yeah. he's called the, the accuser of the brethren. Well, in a, in a courtroom, you have to have both sides to be a fair court. And by the way, he didn't call him a false accuser. He no. tells the truth. Yeah, he does. That's what's bad. Yeah. He tells he tells God what, what, what what's wrong with us Christians, I've Dad. Had, I've had a person say, well, God knows my heart. And I'm like, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem. About, yeah, and all the movies here. now, well, follow your heart. Yeah. Follow your heart. The Bible says the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know Deceitful it? Deceitful above all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's Hollywood for you. Even yeah. Christian movies, I, mean, I hate to say it, some of the Christian yeah. movies, you know, well, you just got to follow your heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's what Eve did. Yeah. yeah, and Satan said, hey, if you eat that, you'll be as God doing good and evil. You'll be, you'll be equal with God. He won't yeah. be able to tell you what to do anymore. And Adam won't be able to tell you what to do. Mormonism, said, Mormonism is the oldest religion, I guess. You can be like God. I didn't know. I didn't realize that till just now. <laughs> that sounds like something from Genesis three. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. that's the first lie, and of course, it's been repeated. Why change it if it's not broken? All right. You know? So at the end, Revelation nineteen, everything's going to change again, right? Yes, that is. Uh, there is two suppers. <laughs> You're going to be at one or the other. There is the marriage supper of the Lamb, or of the supper of God Almighty. Yep. All right. They call all the files they call of the, the air. Like the supper of the great God. The great God Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's exactly pretty, the words. Pretty powerful passage there's, there. There's, there's the, the, the mirror opposite. The yin and the yang is the so Chinese folks, would say folks, which right supper there. are you going to be at? Exactly. You're going to be at the marriage supper or you're going to be at Amen. that other one? That's right. And if you're born again, you'll be at the marriage supper. If you're not Amen. saved, you'll, you'll not be going to heaven. You'll not be at the marriage supper of the lamb That's right. and uh, and you'll be one day according to the Bible you'll be cast into the lake of fire yeah. and uh, what, what a what a sad day that will be for a lot of people uh, right now people are in hell but they're going to be hell That's is right. going to be emptied That's the right. lake of fire is not the same as hell right you understand that oh yeah Sheol can be open hell is forever and forever there, that's a holding place of torture right now and I've heard it about. I've heard people preachers say that hell is like jail yeah. And the lake of fire is like the state penitentiary. <laughs> yeah. And just, just a little. Yeah. I believe this. I, I believe there's different degrees. Oh, of, definitely. That's of, what the Bible teaches. Yes, yeah. sir. I believe uh, just like, I kind of think there's different degrees of heaven to some I degree. I think so. It, uh, or why would you be rewarded yeah. for your, your deeds? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think there's, now hell is still hell and fire is still fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not trying to say that there's good parts of hell and, you, you know, it's okay. No, it's all bad, but I think there's yeah. different degrees of, of suffering. But, Amen. You know, who wants to who wants to talk about that stuff? Yeah. But the book of Revelation. And, uh, of course, the Revelation means what? Unveiling. The unveiling. It's kind of yes. like a man with a, who, an, a great painter has painted a, a great work, and they have it covered right. with a sheet. And they, they, they have an audience, and they've all bought a ticket, and they're, yeah. they're in the audience, and they... Very slowly pull the cover off of that painting. That's to unveil. That's right. That's what the word revelation means. The unveiling of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shows us the other side of him. Uh, folks, he's not coming on a donkey next time. He rode into Jerusalem on a donkey 2,000 years ago, presented himself as their Messiah. He's not coming back on a donkey. That's Praise right. God. He's That's coming right. back on a white horse. <laughs> Victory. And we're coming with him. If you're saved, you're coming with him. And, uh, well... I guess our time is about up, Brother Phil. Sure. And again, I highly recommend Brother Phil's uh, uh, Revelation series. Um, I don't know, five, six, seven discs. I forget. I think it's six. It's been six, a year. I think or there's so six uh, discs, six CD discs. We'll uh, we'll mail them right out to you. Just go to the website godsfindjubilee.com if it's something you you think you're interested in. I'd highly recommend it. It's not not some uh, Hollywood presentation. It's just it's Brother Phil at his church. On Wednesday nights, uh, every now and then you might hear his dad on there, and uh, uh, but for the most part, it's it's Brother Phil giving the, the lesson right from Revelation, and uh, I I would recommend it. Brother Phil is right down to earth and uh, good stuff. I really believe he's got a, a good handle on this, and you're doing another one now. Tell us just a little bit about the the one yeah. you're doing now. Well, this one I'm only taking two chapters an evening, so it's going to be it'll it'll probably be twelve or thirteen discs. So, okay, so the other one you did several chapters at a time. Exactly, yes. Yeah, I, I hit the highlights, but I, I read every word of it. So the, okay. the harder the harder verses we broke down. All right, the so the one on my website, every verse is mentioned, yes. but not every verse is obviously gone over. Exactly. He picks certain things. So he might do four chapters on one disc. Exactly. The one you're doing now, and we'll make this available in the future. Once this one's done, maybe we'll see what he wants to do. But... Uh, what you're doing now is two chapters a night? Two chapters a night. Okay, yeah. that's still breezing through it. I yeah. mean, you can't stop and hit something too long. Yeah. You can't get on rabbit trails. <laughs> no, we, we stick to our guns, and we, we actually, I talk about almost every verse in this one. So there's more information, you know. So, of course, the longer you study, the more you learn. 
Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it, Brother Phil Hauser. Um, this is Elizabethton, Tennessee, near Johnson City, Bristol, Tennessee. Yep. We're Tri right in right yep. in the Tri Cities yep. Airport. Uh, uh, where he brought, by the way, Brother Phil is the guy that uh, when I do my prophecy conferences out in Mankato, Minnesota, we brought Brother Phil out. And uh, he did security for us. And uh, this is a good friend. We love him, him and his family. And uh, we come here a lot. And we, we appreciate him. We got to use his studio here. Uh, well, it's a studio temporarily. It's a temporary <laughs> studio. We made a studio out of here. This is actually, I, you know, I'd call it a prophet's chamber. This is an apartment that I stay in when I come to his church. And a beautiful place here. And uh, we made a studio out of it. We did the... Uh, the uh, Prophecy Unsealed uh, series, a DVD series, right here, did it right here. And there's four messages on that. Uh, you can find that at the on the website. Uh, uh, may not be out yet on, at the time of this viewing, but uh, it's coming out hopefully. We'll, we'll have it in February. In February 2017, that will be out. You'll be able to get that on my website. We'll be on Prophecy News with it, Southwest Radio, and different places. And uh, so that's going to be, and we're going to, that's volume one. We're going to do another volume. I don't know if I'll come back. He might not invite me back here to do another <laughs> one. I don't know. But uh, we may do another one of those and uh, may even get Brother Phil in uh, one of these as well. So, all righty. Well, I guess uh, we're running out of time here. If we're going to cut this off at a, reasonable hour and uh, brother phil we appreciate you and your family god and bless you brother i love so you. glad to have you on the program this is the god's found jubilee program i'm your host brother dan goodwin and uh we hope to see you again uh, next time right here at this same channel on youtube and so god bless y'all